Good morning everyone. I'm preparing my day coming up here at New Leaf Natural Therapies. I've got, you know, it's sort of funny, people often ask what naturopaths treat and I suppose my answer is that we treat everything that doctors treat but we do it naturally, which of course sounds like a bit of a strange thing to say but once you delve into natural therapies, especially when you're going to the sort of levels of of conferences and congresses that I go to, we have people there from all around the world who are doing amazing research in natural therapies. So you've heard me talk about things like sulfurophane and the incredible research that's going on there. You've heard me talk about MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. So often, and this has happened a couple of times in the last few days, where people are responding badly to medications or responding badly to natural therapies or even responding badly to good old stuff like vitamin C and magnesium, quite often the cell receptors are blocked with something else. So there's a common, uh, there's some common misconceptions by the body. For example, mercury and magnesium look similar from a biochemical perspective. So therefore, sometimes when a body can't absorb or utilize magnesium, your body actually thinks it's mercury, so it's trying to eliminate it. So people can have side effects of magnesium supplements. Now, having said that, that can also be the type of magnesium. There's some really dodgy magnesium products out there. Just because something said magnesium, you still need to look at the type and work out whether or not it's the right type for the job. Whereas there's great magnesium products, diglycinates, biglycinates, magnesium citrate, orotates. So there's great forms of magnesium, but on the other hand, there's types that aren't so good for us. So when I'm looking at chronic illness, my I sort of have a bit of a hierarchy of things going on. So someone might come into me with just, say, allergies. But when it comes down to it, it's not just about the allergies. Yes, I could sell them allergies and allergenics and, and do like an immune boosting kinesiology balance. But when it comes down to it, why is the body hyperallergic? Why is it doing that? So quite often it's because the body has either got old viruses or bacteria that it hasn't coped with yet. It might be because there's toxicity on the cell wall, so therefore the receptors aren't working properly. It could be because there's so much going on in the immune system that the immune system has no idea where to spend its energy. So does it spend its energy uh, dealing with, you know, the pollens and dusts and molds that aren't going to kill me, uh, and I hope they're not going to kill you, but someone who has an allergic reaction to those, these are life-threatening things. So the immune system is hyperacting. It's like an ADHD immune system. With someone with, say, mast cell activation syndrome, they can't then release the histamine, so they might be releasing all this histamine to give them some relief from their allergic symptoms. But with MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome, they can't actually get rid of the histamine. They're not releasing the enzyme, DAO, in order to get the histamine out of the body. So once again, what's going on in the gut lining that we're not releasing enough DAO to release the histamine from the brain, the spine, the gut, the uterus. And maybe, so you might think of it as just irritable bowel syndrome. You may think of it as endometriosis. You may think of it as migraines or back pain. But if there's histamine built up in these areas, you've got to start dealing with these underlying problems. So it's funny, like uh, this is just a little little example of the supplements that I go through really, really regularly. Things like um, Toxabrevent. It actually contains a activated zeolite that stays in the gut so it's for people with long-term gut issues where you need to start releasing that excess toxicity and it can be anything the thing about zeolite is that it's a negatively charged mineral and it pulls out positively charged toxins and rick deitch probably 15 20 years ago now did a lot of research he was working for a pharmaceutical company and he found that a zeolite molecule can kill a cancer cell so he wrote a book on pollutants and stuff because he started thinking well why is that because cancer is also a negatively charged mineral. So if you take a, uh, sorry, cancer is a negatively charged molecule. So how does a negatively charged mineral sop up a negatively, you know, because they would repel it, uh, well, they certainly wouldn't attract each other. So what he ended up finding was that the zeolite goes into the body and it starts sopping up positively charged toxins first. And there was a really specific hierarchy. 
lead, mercury, cadmium, aluminium, but we also know that radiation and heavy metals and all sorts of things, other heavy metals, viral particles are positively charged as well. So that temporarily makes the zeolite positively charged and then what the body does is um, it's drawn back to a cancer cell which is negatively charged, which is sort of like a beautiful thing to know that this is how it works and there's lots of research on activated zeolites but needs to be fully cleansed. So, yeah, sort of looking at the supplements that I've got in, and these are the ones that I go through regularly, it's stuff for the adrenals. How many of us are running on fight and flight? It's stuff uh, It's stuff to calm the nervous system down. So it's almost like we need uh, natural uppers in the morning and natural calmers at night time. Uh, things like the 500C uh, methoxyflavone, what that is, is the flavonoids along with vitamin C, and that is really good at helping to pull out excess histamine, so does N-acetylcysteine. So the, the excess histamine needs to be pulled out, but we also need to reactivate the DAO in order to get the the body actually starting to release that histamine itself. There's also high histamine foods, so sometimes people need to actually start looking at their diet and reducing uh, the high histamine foods as well. And they can be really healthy things. So anyway, have a great day. I'm about to kick on in. Someone's arriving any, any minute. So have a beautiful day. Peace to everyone. And See you later. Bye.